health officials are also expanding testing in Summit County. Mountain Newsroom reporter Jamie Larry joins us live in Frisco tonight. Jamie, the clock ticking to get those numbers back down. It really is, and this is the main testing facility here in Summit County, and it recently increased its capabilities by three. So three times the testing capabilities here, and Centura Health gave us a look inside at its one-of-a-kind operations. When you do more testing and you meet the demand, it becomes a truer measure of the validity of your testing. That's the goal for Summit County. More testing equals more control over the spread and hopefully a lower positivity rate. And we started here at the professional building uh, with testing under a tent and uh, demand, as you well know, has increased in the state. The drive through at the Frisco professional building is a reflection of that. And now the inside is equipped as well. Just like that. As we completely modified the interior space of the building, we constructed negative pressure air rooms just like you would find in an isolation ward in, in the hospital. We applied a whole bunch of air filtering to it so that we could test people indoors. They can test up to 140 people. On Monday, there were 160 appointments. We'll get it done. That's what the community needs. While the results of these efforts may not come before the state imposes more restrictions, more testing will help with the overall goal. It's a good way to gauge whether you're testing enough folks and to validate whether an increased number of cases is a measure of increased testing or a true measure of increased cases in the community. The county has a positivity rate of 12.1%, one of the highest in the state right now. And while it plans to double its overall testing capacity by November 8th, it might not come in time. By Wednesday, the state says if it doesn't see an improvement, it will impose level three restrictions, which means reduced capacity in restaurants and businesses to 25%, among other things. We're live in Summit County, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.